Okay. I'm gonna try the stubbed. Like, what is it? I, I looked on the Steam page. There was like a bunch of YouTubers like, Oh, it's disturbed! Yay! What is it? I don't know. It's a horror game. Uh, future music by from Wither Insanity. Oh, I have no idea what that is. Here we go. Another dull day passes as you struggle to manage your failing farm. Your crops are being to t wilt, and your cow is sick. Oh no! For the, for the, for some time, the land has been very quiet. The air has grown thick and full. Each passing day, you feel more uncertain if things will ever return to how they were before. Perhaps it is up to you. You made up your mind. You're going to do something about it. Oh me! Oh yeah! You stand in front of your humble home, pondering. What you should do next? Hmm. Looks very old. Oh! Oh, here we go. Eh, go to the house. Go to the crops. We can go to the crops first. A path divides the crops you have labored so hard uh, to prosper these past months. A uh, pandering the old door reminds you that your plants were decaying away and time is running short. Follow the path. Here we go. You continue down the trail for a, for a while until you reach, you see a cave off at a distance. You pause questioning if there will, could be something helpful in there. Go to the cave, go inside of the cave. There's a faint whistle from the wind passing between the rocks. The temperature singing the the level, singing the fissant, I can't pronounce that, cools as you enter the cave. You notice that there is a different smell, but you welcome it, comparing it to the deathly Blight found outside my crops. Yeah, go further into the cave. <gasps> Before you take your step, uh, eh? He's actually moving. Oh my god! A large bear emerges from the darkness. You realize that you have made a terrible mistake, and thinking that something will help, helpful can be in there. Fight the bear. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Wait, what? Fight the bear? How? Who does fight the bear? No one. You can you can you scan the ground and notice there are some numerous rocks that you can grab and throw to the beer bear. Beer bear, dude. Have you guys when I was in school we had to learn two words beer and bear. I, I struggled so hard with it. It sounded so like so it's the same. Yeah? But it spells weird. It spells not the same, okay. You begin to, to do side of beer the bear. What eat after one another? You throw the rocks as hard as you can. Yeah. Throw rocks at the bear. Yeah, go inside of the cave. Get out of here, bear. This is my cave now. Yeah. That was a good decision, right? The bear charges at you. As you. You bend over and grab another rock, tackling you to the ground. The bear bites you into the neck. Your body quickly goes limp. And you die. Wait, what? Your adventure ends here. Okay, 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 okay. I see what's going on here. All right. So this is a, this is a. Yeah, we can actually save right here. Okay, we can do, we can do this. Uh, first of all, we're gonna go to the crops, and we're gonna okay. Uh, follow the path, and then I'm gonna do this. Uh, go into the cave. Here we go. And I will actually save right there. Here we go. And uh, we're gonna go back. How do we return? Right. Exit the cave. I don't know if that makes a difference. You can hit down the trail for a while until you see the kid. Oh! I'll continue down the path then. You come to stop as you stumble upon a broken wagon. Continue on. Inspect the wagon. You look about the mess and you find bits and foods of clothes scattered about the scene. Reminds me of that scene when you walk out. But you had to really see people die. You know to secure the ground during your search. You pick up the key and continue on your way. Damn. Didn't even leave the key to the police. Not a good citizen. After what you felt like an hour or two, you reach a bridge. Nearby the path is a small shack. That's not a real word. Shack is not a real word, guys. It does not exist in a dictionary. Yeah. Simply, I'm kidding. Okay, similar- actually, it does not. It does not. Similar to your house you have in a farm. The man that lives there, it's gonna follow from your recall. Maybe he's home. Inspect the chat. This chat! I have Googled on this word so many times! 
It does not exist. You walk toward the structure and knock on the door. You scratch the back of your head. Hmm, figures out the person that lives there is currently occupied, if not out elsewhere. You remember picking up a key from the wagon and you use it on the door. The door unlocks. Who does that? Well, if you see like a wagon, like a car destroyed on the streets, and then obviously there's like keys and stuff, you pick up the key and you go to the house where the guy lives. You go inside. Have not called the cops yet. But who is this guy? You decide to, you do decide to help yourself in. Yeah, 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 of course. A private empty, empty room. You realize something terrible must have taken place here. Oh, the room is wreck. Just like the wagon. Yeah, we get a place on detective work here. You're all, you're over well, overcome with fear as you think of the man that used to dwell here. This guy's an idiot. At highest level. Inspect the book on the table. Is that the first thing you see? Open the trap door. Open the trap door? Okay, so this guy noticed when he wake, walked in. I see a trap door inside of the room. Hmm, that's a very nice book. That's what he saw. Or leave the shack. Uh, we get to take a look at the book first. You pick up the book and start to flip through the pages. Hmm, yeah, this is definitely not a diary. That's very boring. You discover that it's a journal. Really a Oh, it actually is. Today's trading went smoothly. Thank goodness. What a thrilling must about to have it. However, it's one of my buddies mentioned to me that at the conclusion of the day, apparently there's a pond nearby that has some of the biggest fish in the region. With a good catch, I can make enough to move th things forward. Oh, so you like it. Oh, okay, I see. So you found like a lake. But like I was caught off guard, but he mentioned that nobody was able to catch any from there. I guess your typical fishing rod won't do the trick. But, what can do but do it by that then? I don't know. By a fishing net? Something has was to be intrigued about as possible. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. These past couple of weeks has been re oh, wait, is the same? Rough for me. My trading business has gone under and have lost nearly everything I own. This uh, has punished me. Why is it so hard to read? I don't know. Uh, but that that can't be helped now. I'm leaving this place forever, never to return. The land is dying. There's nothing to be docked and say. Actually, they did that lock back in the days. When the, the place were dead, they moved on to another place. And then actually went back a few years later to the same place. To do some uh, cropping or stuff. Anyone reading this should leave while they can. <laughs> yeah. You can't find a name to give this man. But regardless of the name, you got chills running down your spine. Reading an old man's diary. Open the trap door. <laughs> you upset you upset the trap door and notice the lock keep keeping it closed. With the key you unlock the hatch and you get it open. Now, without thinking, you travel downward. You can find all the P magazines. Walk it down the steps. Leading below. The air What? The dungeon. The air attached to your fill your body with Oh my god. You notice immediately that there's a woman chained to the wall. Probably dead. She doesn't seem to notice you as you study her. Well, it's pr probably because he did. You fear darkness around you as you stay in this awful place. Talk to the woman she did. How she? How can she be alive? Okay, so the wagon must have happened today or yesterday. Talk to the woman. You tremble as you as you do fall as you okay mouth. Woman. Here, here, there. Let, let me out of here. The pressure of such a demand makes you freeze. This guy's an idiot. He sees so... Okay, she's alive. First of all, he went into the house. He's not his house. And then he sees someone in need inside of the house, trapped inside the basement. What do you do? You freeze. This guy's an idiot. Help her. You take a moment to think about the situation before you respond. You. What do you get locked up to begin with? <laughs> Dude. Dude. What do you got locked up for? Is <laughs> a big. Yeah, what do you got locked up for, huh? Was the guy a psychopath? Or was he a serial killer? Tell me! I know it's bad, but you need to tell me, girl. Was he a psychopath or not? <laughs> what kind of a. Woman, 
You never believe me. If I've told you the truth. S something brought you here. Something brought you here. Huh? Please, have mercy on me. Free the woman. Yeah, free her. You press the woman and lock the, the shackles upon her. As her arms become free, she moans in pain. Ah! Thank you so much. The woman struggles to regain her strength, but starts to stand up as on her own. As she gets up, she turns towards you. But, oh, oh. I, I will now do you a favor. Eh? What seems to be the face of a helpless woman disappears as a horrible image manifests itself before you. She feels her shilling grip on your bone, hands lock into your arms. Energy flees from your body and you fall to your knees. You feel the essence of your life slip away as everything goes black. It is unfortunate that the journey ends here. Oh my god. Dude. That does not make any sense whatsoever. That gotta be the most awful ending ever. Dude. Like, first of all. I had no, 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 what do call it? no passion, what do you call it, the passion, the other word. Like, no empathy for the girl. And then I released her. She's a freaking devil. Alright, like, she's going in. <laughs> Alright. Um, okay. Uh, you know what? We can continue on the bridge, going forward, the other one. Uh, go to the crops. We can do it like this, I don't care. Follow the path. And then we can follow the path. And we can take the, inspect the, what? Ah, we get the key. It doesn't, we don't have to go inside. Wait, when I went inside the first time, did I pick up something else? I didn't. Continue on. Okay, we go. Alright. Inspire, cross the bridge. Alright. You cross the bridge safely and continue to drown the trail. After, what ha after all that happened, you feel that you should take a moment to rest. You find a spot under the tree and sit down, getting comfortable. You tilt your head back against the tree and gaze into the sky. Oh, this guy's an idiot for sure. Like, do you really do that in this type of climate? Yeah, yeah, I just get to sit down on a tree, yeah. Yes, relax, yeah. Probably comes up, yeah, someone just got killed probably at the wagon. But I don't care, I just gonna sit here. Take a nap, yeah, why not? Pick at the grass. Why would I do that? As you pick at the grass, blades in your reach, the ground begins to shake before you can get up. Roots from the below sprouts from the ground and wraps around your legs. The anger tree, guys. W what is this place? You turn around, see an angry face looking at you. Your jaw drops in horror. No sound or scream escapes your tongue as you tighten in grip of the roots. Squeeze what air is left from your body. You dress your idea. Come on, man. Seriously, a tree killed me? A freaking tree? Because I sat, I sat at his lap. He didn't like it. Alright, we gotta we get go we get forward here. I'm gonna know what's behind here. We just gonna follow the path. We're not gonna do anything else. Here we go. Here we go. Cross the bridge. And then... You wanna take, take a nap? Take a nap. Just take a nap. Your eyes close and your body relaxes. You feel asleep in the seconds. As your mind wanders, you see a blurry image. Oh! <laughs> it looks like it. Details about your gaze. You wonder who this might be. A bad feeling that overcomes you. You realize who it is. You try to wake yourself up. It's the tree. You wake up and jump to your feet. Look at about yourself and look at the surroundings. It all seems well. You can't help but feel fearful that something bad will happen to you if you stay here. More thoughts would seem like the only logical option now. Yeah. Option. You, re you reach a point that the trail splits up into two paths. Which one should you go? Left. After continuing down the path for some time, you come to a stop. You notice that there is some sort of a trail that leads through the grass up towards a nearby hill. If you had not stopped, you probably would have never noticed. Which way to go? Continue down the path, follow the trail to the grass, go back. Fall, 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 yeah. Whoa, Excalibur! Find that trap, you stumble upon, but looks like, oh, it's a grave. <laughs> Inspect the grave. You approach the grave. 
You look at a sword with it. Wait, have I been living here for such a long time and I've never noticed this? Oh, before you can touch the sword, a ghost will figure prepared before you. You freeze before they burn it down. The, the, the sword? M may I have it? The blade's cursed. I'm brought here by the pain of my past. Oh, what do you do? If you decide the sword, free me from it. You slowly march in for the sword. Fool! Only someone with pure assets can free me. A rare hope, like a flower found in the darkness. This guy has read too many romance books and novels. Yeah, this guy's an idiot. Grab the sword. You read the sword before you lay a finger on it. The spirit grabs your arm. Oh, crap. A change of pain flowers in your body. And your flesh melts off your... Oh, my God. What? I just wanted to have the sword. So, yeah, we got adventure, though. Okay, oh my, I should have said, oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna meet you up there. Okay, we are back here to the left and right. Uh, we can, we're gonna go left again. And... Ah, uh, which one was it? The grass. Follow the grass. Okay, and then we can see if we're gonna get, get a mission from him. Inspect the grave. All right, here we go. Oh, it's back. Uh, what are you doing here? You came back? Huh? No, you wanted to find a flower. You may be meeting a flower after all, huh? Maybe I am. Back away from the sword. All right, back away. You listen to the speech here. I left it. Okay. D okay, all right. All right. Jinyan. There was no quest. You passed to see you about there. There's a lake nearby. The trick is on to your right. Uh, inspect the lake. <laughs> you step near the lake and look at- Inspect a lake, alright. Oh! Resting underwater is the orb of some sort. Dragon Ball! There is something strange about it, as if it's calling up to you. Where's the Dragon Ball? Dive in! <laughs> Just dive in! You close your eyes and jump into the lake. You eye open your eyes to see the stone. Seen it before you. You start to make your way for us. <gasps> a large fish comes to your view. It comes notice. With a mouth stretch it open. Oh my god. You try to lay in the surface, but a fish catches up to you. You quickly find yourself helpless before the creature. You close your eyes and the guy fish rips your body apart and you die. Okay. Uh thank god I actually saved this time. Here we go. Go left. We're not gonna expect to lake this time. How about that? Uh here we go. And Gignon. Do not expect the lake. Do not long trail. And uh, the faint trail becomes the end. There's a collective of stone pillars down the hill. Uh, beyond the hill is a large field of grass. Uh, explore, the f explore the field. Here we go. You find yourself gazing. How can, how can, it, how can the field be that bad? Uh, it's a rolling off at a distance. Huh? Pony! As if a trick upon your eyes. You see a unicorn run across the field? It disappears how to start before you can do anything. Certainly, there's unique powers of unicorns that can help you with the quest. But here, there's clearly something wrong. If only there was a way to charm it. <gasps> if only. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try to actually catch a pony. Alright. Inspect the stone pillars. Alright, we're gonna summon. Summon the pony. You stand before the large stone, uh, a range in the shape of a circle. In the center is a stone, but it appears to be some sort of a like, slot hole. That sounds so bad. No doubt about it. Something is meant to be in place here. Uh, seeing that you can't do anything, you head back. Mm, okay. That's interesting. We can actually save here again. We're gonna save. Uh, actually, that's pretty interesting. Uh, go back. No, no. Oh, I can't. I, oh. Wait a second. I can't move on any further. Yeah, I can't move on any further. Alright, we gotta go back. Go back to the grave. Go back. And... Continue down the path. Ooh, get a well. You walk for some time and unless you fail. There's a stone well near the path. Inspect the well. Hello? Anyone down there? You peer down the well. Uh, other than the evident water of the bottom, there's a coin resting against the wall of the well. It's possible you can feel you should go down and take the coin. Now, who the hell does that? I know there's been like some wells. You like throw a coin. You just uh, wish something. Have you ever seen someone actually jump in and get one of the coins? I've never done it. 
Sure, when I was a kid, I was like, oh my god, so many coins. I never in my mind ever think like, like jump in and get it. It's just like a, what do you call it? In America, what do you call it? A quarter? Who would want to have that? Grab the coin. You, you lean over the edge of the well. There's a possible way to get obtain the coin by the reaching it. But this in mind, you turn and climb down along the inner wall of the well. You take a few steps down, but the luck runs out. You misplace your foot, and you fall. Tumbling down, your body clashes against the stone walls, but a single knock on your head. You lose all consciousness of your accident. And you die. Probably, yeah. Yeah, damn. Alright. Uh, so we're gonna go back from here. D how do I know? Some stuff are bad, some stuff are not. So, continue down the path. And not, do not expect this. Uh, do not. <gasps> a city? Walking over the hill of the grave, you reach the wall of Aramur. Several times of a year, you come here to trade goods with the father. Okay, thank God. Was like, oh my God, this guy had never seen this city before. You discover the, uh, the plague that has spread to your farm. Oh, has also spread all the way from way up here too. The path that, okay. Continue cross. You have come a long way. And you don't decide to turn back now? Really? You match forward into the tainted soil. Before you realize what happened, you sink completely into the ill soil. Darkness could- What? So I can't reach the city. Alright, got it. Alright, let's go back. There's still one path we haven't taken yet. Uh, that's a right path. Well, I could actually go back to the right- Okay. Uh, here we go. Right path. Go right. Right over here. You reach the end of the pathway. Oh, in the distant tower, you look at over the area. A gate secure passage to reach with a wall of property. Okay. Also of interest, there's a tree that has a hole carved into it. Oh, inspect the tree. Oh, nice. You approach the tree and notice there's a big hole enough to fit your hand in it. Of course, you're gonna put your hand in it. Crazy. Yeah, of course, you, you're not. You, you are crazy if you do not put your hand inside of it, of course. Here we go. You look and see something shining in the hole. If there's a metal feeling around with your hand, you find it th three knobs. One at the right, one at the center, and the middle, and one at the left. Uh, press, press the knob. Press it. Uh, press the left one. There we go. Press the middle. Press the right. The knob locks. The knobs locked in place. You wait a moment, but nothing happens. It must be some sort of a combination. Okay. Uh... Wait, there's only so many combinations you can do, right? You can actually try to force it. We got it. Ah. Okay, brute force. Here we go. We're gonna brute force it. It's not too, how many combinations is it? It's not too many, right? Wait, you can you cannot press two times on one, right? You can. Oh my god, you can actually do that. Ah, that's bad. Uh, wait, is there one combination I didn't- Okay, I didn't do this one. In the middle. No. God damn it! Wait, I didn't do this one. Did I do this one? And then down there, in the middle. Oh my god, how can I do this? Uh, middle up, middle, up, and down. Okay, I- Dude. That's gonna take years. Go to the gate. Whoa. You approach the gate cautiously. Enter. You stand before the tower. Your heart begins to sink. There's no doubt the birthplace of the spreading plague. This is the fountain before you with a statue on your left, right, and left. Oh my god, so much stuff! Ha! Huh? Holy crap! Yeah, I'm gonna end it right there. Oh my god, Disturbed. This was a longer game than I thought. What the hell? It's kind of interesting actually. Kind of interesting. Here we go, awesome game.